Hi guys, here with the weird fakes in camera again. I'll try to walk slowly so it doesn't do it. Um, started off as a small Rebo. Um, they've kept the sunk trampoline, but the actual tower they've got rid of. So the towers from Rebo would be like one quarter of this one tower. So he's bought two towers. So he's basically got four times, the, four times the size just in this one tower. And then there's a full playhouse with another internal floor as well. This is a double swing upgraded swing as well so this is the rubber seats uh, which makes them a lot wider a lot stronger it means that adults can sit on it i've also added an extra swing hanger in the middle which means you can add a crow's nest on there as well if you want to um, i've cut all the legs as well hence the sawdust to meet the floor and then this tower has a ramp at the back ladder at the front a rock wall that goes up and over not just to the floor Big playhouse on this side with a solid bridge. Upgraded uh, slides. Here's the monkey bars that are all cut in as well. And then there's metal at the top up here, which holds it. A lot of the other manufacturers will have wood up here. And then once it rains, the wood drains in and then it starts to rot. Um, the actual dowel that goes across, cargo net. Again, you'll see cargo nets looking nice and then they go all saggy. Ours are connected every 29 centimeters ish to make the squares. So each square blob is around 29 centimeters. Um, and then it's connected as well, so it shouldn't go saggy. And then that's using synthetic rope, poly hemp. So it shouldn't fray or change color too much as well. The playhouse itself has a rubber roof, has little plastic uh, windows. And then the customers just playing on it for the house. Uh, so these are the upgraded slides. So it means that adults can go down there and then go from there. So we're going to go up. So I'm over 100 kilos in weight. Sorry, I'm just going to climb up. And then once we're on the top deck, we can look down. Again, you can walk around the playhouse. Plastic windows. A bit dusty. Metal monkey bars. And then that rubber roof. And then if the door is shut, you'll have a little handle. We normally just do like a little padlock just to, just to shut it off. And then when the kids are not playing with it, it keeps it all nice and skinny. There's a secondary floor inside here. So it's raised slightly. So when you come off here, the water can still drain from this floor underneath the playhouse. Then. And then there's also another internal um, floor inside here, which means the kids can go up there, hide, have sleepovers, or just hide toys and do what you want to do from there. I think this is a great unit. looking for something like this or a custom tower swings sunk trampolines then let us know we also do zip wires I'm gonna to speak to the customer about that tree there it's over here it's just a little bit dangerous in the middle um, yeah we do zip wire across we go from there we've got these little beams at angles so the water will come down and then run off the back as well like a little mini gutter so it should keep this bit a little bit drier so this was installed in the garden, literally took a couple of days and go from there. And then um, I'm going to do another video as well, but this was taken off a, a TP set just the other day. If you look at the, the size difference in what you're paying for, this is a balustrade. So kids are supposed to be able to come in and out of here or up and down the... Um, up and down the slides and stuff like that. So if you imagine if you're a child trying to climb outside this hole, when you end up paying more for a custom tower, there's a reason for it. It's because you're getting about six times the wood. So this is now old enough for the clients to go on. We've just done some aerial footage, so I'll set that up as well. 
but you can see the mothers coming up here and actually playing with the children and going down the slides and racing together on a set like that. There's, you're not going to be able to do anything. So look at my finger, there. it's less than my finger. This I think is part of a roof or part of the balustrade system. So this is the thinnest bit of wood that we use. And and that's like that's just to take the take the middle. It's not even a brace, like it's even thicker on the outsides. This is just literally picking up the middle. Every other bit of wood is in CLS or four by four timberlet. And that's the difference. So that's a TP. This is a custom tower. You make a decision which ones your kids are gonna be having the most fun on.